Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 and today we are here with the Moon Pack with Lunala, heiress of the Moon Pack and her mate Copper and their second litter. So our wonderfully lucky pair of wolves who had absolutely no problems with their first litter. They had a very easy year. They had abundant prey. Their puppies all made it. Um, they had a lot of time to think about the deeper meanings of what it meant to be a noble wolf and how they were going to interact with all the coyotes that were in the area. Well, they're not having quite as easy a time this here. Oh my gosh, the puppies are going to starve. Copper! Copper, get over here and help me out with this. Star is about to starve, Copper. I need some help over here. Okay, what's going on? All right, that's a bear. And now there's a bear coming to try to eat the children. Okay, and this is their family den. So this is the den that the moon pack has traditionally been at every year. Okay, there's one bite. Oh my gosh, Lunala! Lunala! All right, there's another bite. There we go. All right, no, don't she's Get away from my babies! <laughs> Did you see Copper, like, frantically pick up Whisper? Like, oh my gosh! Alright, so the babies are still safe. Alright, Whisper needs fed. And we're gonna have to keep moving. It is a very, very difficult year. I don't know if we're gonna be able to complete the challenge that Lunala has this year of going to the cattle ranch at least three times. But traditionally, Lunala tends to be a little bit more distracted with her mate Copper than with taking care of her puppies. So I'm not sure. Come on, Lunala. I'm not sure what is going to happen with that. If she's going to decide, okay, that's fine. There's an owl now. She is going to have a busy year, that's for sure. All right, Lunala. The babies are right here. There is the eagle, and we call it an owl when it shows up at night. And the moon pack traditionally is a, a night dwelling pack. They're a night wolf pack. They come out at night. There we go. And I, oh, look at Pyrite and Star play together. All right, and I think Lunala would have a lot to say about how many predators there are lately. But I think she would be constantly surprised. She would be like, just what do they think they're doing? Because she's very, she's very convinced of the superiority of her pack and her family and their life together. All right, so we're going to have her come along. Oh, no, you don't. Excuse you. There's another owl coming already for the children. What does this mean? I wonder if Lunala is actually going to end up with eagles and hawks and owls. I don't see it anywhere. Maybe it was just yelling at us from the distance. I wonder if she's going to end up with eagles and hawks and owls being the thing that constantly harasses her children. All right. Well, okay. There's a bear. There's just a bear. Okay. <laughs> but this is definitely going to be a very difficult year. Oh, look at Copper. He's trying to defend the babies. This is, <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, Lunala. Come on, move it. Move it, we've gotta chase this bear away. And if, oh, I wonder if she has to, I don't think she has to bow before a bear, but I think running into so many bears, get out of here. Oh, I think running into so many grizzly bears would really shake Lunala's sense of, oh good, we defended the pups, wonderful. Would shake Lunala's sense of superiority because bears are so much more powerful than she is. Oh, hang in there, Lunala. All right, now gather up some food for the babies. We're going to have to go do some more hunting. All right, thankfully, there's lots of food not too far from here. But let's feed the babies up, and then we need to see if we can get Lunala over to the cattle ranch. Because she does need to try to go to the cattle ranch three times this litter. And I think she would want to feel like... Oh, there's a coyote already. All right, we've got to remember... It's kind of like a knight throwing down uh, a, the gauntlet in order to have a duel whenever we run into a coyote. She has to bow to the coyote first, and then that's the official challenge for a duel. So, oh, look at him go. Yeah, she would, I think she would take out the coyote. Oh, it ran around a rock. Oh, sneaky coyote. We barely landed like some strong blows on it. Oh my gosh. All right, we've got it now. There we go. All right. And I think, I think she's getting to the point where she'd just growl over the body now instead of being super respectful and like bowing. If she won, she's starting to feel the need to have to prove that, that she and her pack, oh my gosh, Star, eat now! Oh my goodness, Whisper, eat now! <laughs> that she and her pack are superior. I don't know if we can get over to the cattle ranch. All right, Shadow needed a little bit of extra help. Oh my gosh, okay, Shadow, something's trying to come eat you. Oh my goodness, I think these bears... What? This is not the Stormy Skies pack. We do not need all these bears chasing our wolves. Ah, uh, Lunala, no, she got stuck in the bushes. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, she needs to eat. And I think Luna actually would eat before like feeding that last hungry puppy. Because she tends to be a little bit more focused on herself. Um, and that's one of her flaws. All right, and that's what makes being with her and her family a little bit challenging. All right. Oh, there's another bear. Are you kidding me? Luna like Hopper. Get ready. It's it's coming for us. All right. I think Lula is is ready to try to like kill this bear, chase it off somehow. Oh my gosh. What is with bears lately harassing both of our packs? We actually still need to find out if Glenn and the Stormy Skies pack is going to even survive. There we go. We chased it away. Huh. How many grizzlies does that make? 32 grizzlies. She's chased away three grizzlies just today. Oh my goodness. But yeah, we don't even know if Glenn from the Stormy Skies pack is going to survive his recent encounter with a bear over at the cursed area where a very, very strong bear has been stalking him. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? All right, Gauntlet is thrown down. And now there's a coyote. But I could see how Lunala would be so distracted trying to defend the borders and get rid of all of the coyotes and the bears. She would forget that she has a hungry baby back at home. Oh, Lunala, why? Run back to your child and take care of it. <laughs> Who's the hungry one? Is it Star? Is little Star gonna die? I think Star is the little boy is what you guys told me. And Whisper is actually the little girl. Or Whisper, oh my goodness. No, no, you don't, you can't just sneak in here and act like you're one of my puppies. Yeah, I could see with all of these predators showing up, Lunala would just be whirling around, snarling, so distracted and angry that she can hardly like see straight because she has to prove that her pack is superior. She has to prove that her line, being her mostly, she still isn't really thinking about her babies, um, that her line is powerful. All right, there we go. All right, we need to feed the puppies and we still, I don't know if they're gonna be able to have enough food to be able to hold on if we go to the cattle ranch because they would need to be fully fed. Whisper, no. Are you kidding? I think that she would attempt it though. Not gonna lie, I think she would try to at least get to the cattle ranch once because this is disturbing her to run into so many predators. All right, she's gonna growl over its body because she's superior. All right, oh my gosh, and the territory markers are already almost so low. Are you kidding? All right, Lunala. This is the year that you're gonna figure out whether or not you're actually as powerful as your mother was because Moondancer didn't ever lose a single puppy. And here's Lunala, she wants to prove that she is for sure her line is super, super superior by being able to go over to the Callow Ranch and prove that she has mastery over all creatures. The puppy should be safe in the den while we come over here and get some food. And she can't prove that they have mastery if she can't leave the den to like go check the, the Callow Ranch. So, man, three times we have to go and see if we can survive an encounter. Can we feed the puppies? with this food and then we'll we'll try making a dash for the cattle ranch. Oh my gosh, no, don't attack Lunala, don't do that. Oh, Lunala. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Okay, double coyote trouble. All right, at least we managed. Oh, was that, don't tell me that was another coyote. Oh my gosh. Come on, Lunala, come on. Oh my gosh. Well, it's not part of the Ancestor Challenge just yet. Are you guys all okay? It's not part of the Ancestor Challenge this time to get rid of those coyotes uh, by bowing first, but... Okay, he came up here. Where'd he go? Did he come from up here? And then down here? I think, is this the one that we... Okay, the pups are now safe. Is the coyote gone then? And the owls are still lurking? I hear the coyote! Okay, that's Copper. Copper! I hear his footsteps! I just don't know! Okay, babies. Let's all howl and maybe we can chase them away. Oh, there's a bear! Really? The howling attracted a bear? That was not part of the plan. Alright, little guys, you stay there. We've gotta chase the predator away. Two, three, get away from my babies! Or really, actually, Lunala would more be along the lines of, like, get away from my den. Jeez. All right. 
Oh my gosh, it is so just uh, drama, 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 drama. All right, there you go, Star. Here you go, Shadow. I'm going to have to go get some more food for you guys, I think. Top you guys off. Copper, do please stop trying to walk into my back. I'm trying to feed the babies here, unless you want to help. Copper, Copper, seriously. All right, and Whisper, Whisper always seems to be like wandering off on her own or his own. All right, puppies are playing. Oh, great. And now something's coming. Really? Lula, I don't know if you're going to be able to prove your superiority. And if she can't go over to the cattle ranch, she's going to have to try at least once. Because she's just so driven. But if she goes and her puppies die, or if uh, she goes and she dies, I think that would be a huge blow to her. Because she thinks that, like, the moon pack can do no wrong. She thinks that her pack is the strongest, most powerful pack that's out there. So, oh boy. All right, let's come on down. I think that I think if she wasn't able to do that, I think that would be the end of her line. I think it would because she would be so dispirited that she wouldn't she wouldn't really be able to function very well anymore. And I think that's kind of her and Copper's weakness. They don't really stress out very much over like what happens to their puppies because they think that their puppies are always going to be safe. There's another coyote. But if they were proved wrong on that, then I think what would happen is... All right, we've got to get rid of this guy. I think what would happen is Lunala would probably be done. She probably wouldn't have any more litters of puppies. But we could have one of her children inherit. We could have the voting on one of her children. And they would probably be lost and wander around Lost River for a little while. Because they, they wouldn't have quite had the strong like family pack background that their mom did they wouldn't quite know what to do with themselves so we'll just have to see what what happens though because there's a good chance that lunella could prove how strong and powerful her pack is by being able to run over to the cattle ranch oh this is fine another bear i don't think i don't think even stormy skies gets this many bears on a regular basis all right okay one all right come on no, you don't. Trying to land a blow on her. Two. No, she got hit. Dang it. Three. Okay, we chased that grizzly bear away. Lunala, I just don't believe this. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's get out of here. Well, she's eaten most of the prey that's close by now. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, okay, we'll have to go home. We'll feed the babies. And then we will head out. To the cattle ranch we need to at least try to get her near the cattle ranch before the end of the day because i think it'd almost be like an obsession like her faith has been shaken and she needs to go to the cattle ranch to make sure that everything is still okay all right come on that she's still that her pack and her family line and everything about her and the way people oh there's another bear <laughs> why luna oh my gosh I feel like there's just, and it looks like such a bumbling bear. Is that still the same bear running away? Ah! I peed on all the things. One, two, three. Okay, we got it away. All right, come over here. Yeah, I think her faith would have been shaken, and the only way for her to get it back is to prove that she is strong enough and powerful enough. So let's go ahead, feed the babies. We'll howl a couple times. And then we're going to see... Alright, there you go, guys. Good luck. Your mom is headed out of here. Oh, and the pups are ready to continue, but we're going to stay at the den. So you guys stay here. And now we're going to have to set out. I have no idea if this is going to be, like, the death of all of her puppies. Or if she's going to be able to prove to herself that this is it. That she's going to be able to accomplish the mission that she has set out for. And show that the moon pack still is superior and i hope that copper will stay behind copper please tell me you're not following me that's probably a bad sign that he's not following me that probably means there's already something back at the den oh dear oh well this is her like personal growth quest where she would have to just go and find something discover something for herself and we're just gonna have to see if what she discovers is going to destroy her pack or be able to make her pack much stronger because her faith in the superiority of the wolves will be renewed. All right, go, 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 come on. Oh, Lula, don't drown. That's not, that's not part of the plan. All right, are we almost there, Lula? Um, maybe. I think somewhere around here 
If we just keep moving. Okay. Visit the ranch. All right. This is it, you guys. Okay. All right. So apparently... And there's a calf. All right. All right, Luna. Let go, 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 go. Ah, dang it. It doesn't seem... I think we need to get more of a run. And... Oh, we did it! Oh, jeez. And the cows just kind of stand here. All right. All right, we've got food. We've got food. And dogs barking. Okay, run for it! Lunala! Run, Lunala! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Go back to the creek! All right. And I think Lunala survived. Okay, you guys. Now we just have to get back to her puppies and we have to repeat that twice more without getting shot. And then hopefully, hopefully Lunala will have more confidence in what she is able to do and what her pack is able to achieve. So, wow. All right. We've got to go back and feed the babies and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.